Kampala is one of the busiest cities on the African continent. If you ask anyone around the world that has ever been to Kampala, they will tell you the thing they remember about Kampala is the border border type of transport. These are simply motorbikes that provide a means of transport around the city. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the 10 best places to visit when you're in Kampala, Uganda for you to get that perfect experience the next time you visit Kampala. Trust me, if you've been to Kampala and haven't visited any of these places that I'm going to be sharing in this video, consider yourself as someone who's never been to Kampala city. And if you're new here, my name is Gani and this is the African Meat Show where I spread good vibes about the African continent. So if you want to learn more about the African continent and African culture in general, please consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well, so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. Also remember that at every end of my videos, I share free Swahili language lesson. This is simply because Swahili is the most spoken African language on the African continent. So be sure to look out for that. And for all of you, my African viewers, if you would like to start making $10,000 and more per month, we just released a very comprehensive course that will enable you achieve this, basically selling products on the Jumia platform. So for more about this, you can check out the description of this video or else you can check the top pinned comment on this very video. The Gaddafi Mosque is found right in the heart of the city, particularly along Old Kampala Road. The construction of this mosque began in 1972 by the former Ugandan president Idi Amin and later it was completed in 2006 by the late Libyan president Kano Muama Gaddafi's donation to the Ugandan Muslim community. This mosque is currently one of the most visited places in Kampala by most tourists because at its highest point, one gets an entire view of the Kampala city. So if you're planning your next visit to Kampala city, this is one of those places that you should definitely put on your bucket list. The Uganda National Theatre is located between Said Barre Avenue and Downington Street. The theatre has a quality programming of music, film, dance and drama performances that are done inside the theatre. What many travellers come here for are the night outdoor events. One can just simply grab a beer and barbecue to start having fun around this area. This is one of those places in Kampala that I would definitely recommend to anyone visiting Kampala city for the first time. The Uganda Matters Shrine Namugongo is by far one of the most visited religious sites on the African continent. It is at this shrine that over 32 young Christian martyrs were killed in 1886 on the orders of the then Ugandan king Mwanga. These were all young men that stayed strong to their faith and they are annually celebrated every 3rd of June of the year. While at this shrine, you learn about the history of Christianity in Uganda and Africa at large. And for you to get to this shrine, it is located along the Namugongo Road. For anyone looking for African craft to do their home decor, or maybe for a souvenir, the Kampala Craft Market is definitely one of those places that you must visit while you're in Kampala City. It's located along Buganda Road and definitely this should be one of those places you visit because it's found right in the heart of Kampala City. Baha'i Temple is also there for anyone that needs that spiritual connection. So if you need some deep meditation, the Baha'i Temple is one of those places that you should visit when you're in Kampala city. 
this Baha'i temple in Kampala city is the only Baha'i faith temple on the African continent. The hill on which it's located offers a complete view of the Kampala city and all its suburbs. The beauty about this temple is that they accept people from all kinds of religious beliefs. For those that didn't know about the Baha'i faith, it's one of the new religions in the world today. And I would definitely recommend this place to anyone that is visiting Kampala city. The Uganda National Museum was founded in 1908. It is the largest and oldest museum in Uganda that showcases cultural and historical heritage of the country. At the museum, you'll see some great artifacts that help bridge the gap between the past and the present in Uganda. For the location, you'll find it along the old Kira Road next to the British High Commission. The Owino Market is located right in the heart of the city, particularly in downtown Kampala. It is a market for the downtrodden people around Kampala, so when you visit this market, it will give you the real experience of what the people are like in Kampala city. The Owino Market is the biggest bazaar market in Kampala with over 300,000 visiting customers on a daily basis. Here you'll get all sorts of food ranging from fresh food, clothes, traditional medicines and herbs. Trust me, when you visit this market, you'll surely get something to take home with you. The Ndere Center showcases cultural heritage of all tribes in Uganda through traditional music, dance and drama. While at this center, you learn how to cook and prepare local Ugandan dishes and also learn some traditional dances. The Ndere Center is found along the Ntinda Kisasi Road. Port Beluzira is the main lake port in Uganda that receives imports from outside the country. This port was named after Sir Henry Hesketh Bell, a former British commissioner to Uganda. It is located in Luzira, Kampala on Lake Victoria. The port also has a rail link to the Kampala Ginger Main Railway Line. And this is simply to enable the smooth transit of goods from one point to another or one country to another. That's between Kenya and Uganda. The Kasubi tombs are one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Uganda. These tombs are a burial site for kings of the largest kingdom in East Africa, the Buganda Kingdom. It is one of the most visited tourist sites in the country and the royal tour guides there will share with you all the stories about each of the past kings of the kingdom. So those are the 10 best places to visit when you're in Kampala city and for our Swahili lesson for today So if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well so that each time I release a new video, I get you notified. Thank you so much for watching. Watch this next one.